Hello everyone and welcome to this, our whatever number we are right now, uh, version of the evolution of MMOs. Tonight we'll be taking a look at Age of Conan. And as per usual, I'm joined by our very special guest, Osiris. <laughs> Hello, people. <laughs> oh, I'm just laughing because I just took off my pants and it looks <laughs> pretty retarded. <laughs> So, Are we talking real gone, life or in please. the game right now? Because <laughs> <laughs> we're talking in game. Okay, yeah. good. So the one one thing is so. fine. The other one is just a bit odd. Okay, uh, <laughs> right. but also your your character looks uh, kind of odd already. I might add. So yes. Huh. Yes, indeed. Are you? So Age of Conan. The game is not uh, is not being very nice to me. So I'm trying to I'm trying to I have another character slot. It, it's quite obvious because uh, there's a unlocked, a green unlocked lock, that symbolizes that I can probably create another character. So whenever I, I select the empty slot and I press create, it it says you have reached the maximum number of characters in this dimension. To create additional characters, you will need to delete an existing character, and then it locks me out of the game. Oh, I that's, wonder if that's I can. Nice. What if I do it? In, <laughs> Oh, Chrome. God. Okay, so I can do it like in, in the <laughs> other server. I'm I'm trying on Chrome now. Well, <laughs> thank you, game. I'm just laughing because uh, <laughs> my girlfriend's sitting on the other side of me, and she, she she said something. I said, "Oh, are you recording?" And I said, "Yes," and she started laughing really loudly. So, <laughs> <laughs> so okay, the so game is having trouble. That's, that's the game. Good. The game is having some troubles for sure. Uh, and we will we will get back to those. Um, so, but yeah, Age of Conan was released in like 2008. So it's actually in May 2008. So it has a four years anniversary right now. And in that time, I only think it has gotten one expansion. Uh, yeah, I do believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is just totally totally level 80 content all of it. Um, so, but anyways, I'll just give you a quick look at this so we can get on. This is the character creation screen you of course have the male female yeah. that's that's per usual then you have uh, the cultures which is like is this, a race what is this, is this game rated is this game rated uh, 18 plus or something i am not sure if it's 18 or just 15 i could imagine it being 18 in america for sure but to be honest i don't know uh all right yeah well now none of us have created female characters but you are able to remove the the bra of the of the female characters in the game which some people seems to find very funny to do and then stand around in the middle of her uh, in, the, yeah. in the middle of the market but we'll leave it at that or some people like to take off their pants <laughs> yeah those weird <laughs> people okay yeah. so uh yes we have four races one of them is only available to people who have bought the expansion which i haven't i'm just playing the normal free to play uh, base version. Besides this, we have like um, class. We have like these classes. Yeah, uh, we have uh, four main classes, if you will, which each has each has three uh, individual subclasses under them. So, like the Guardian, the Dark Templar, and the Conqueror is all part of the Soldier class. Um, the problem is that we can. Oh, we only have four classes available to us when we are going free to play. We have the Guardian, the Priest of Mitra, the Barbarian, and I think the last one was the Demonologist. Yeah. The rest uh, you'll have to to pay to unlock. Yes. And uh, yet another free to play model that is kind of not really free to play. It's a bit, It's. I mean, it's, we have four out of 12 classes that is available for us to play. It's not enough, to be honest. Uh, yeah, but and and you cannot play the expansion pack, and you cannot raid yeah. a lot of raids or do instances because they're all. You need to either buy them or be a VIP member. So, they're basically saying, this is a trial, and if you enjoy the game, you need to pay pay us money. Yeah, and that's not free to play. So it's no, like it isn't. It is. It is more like a demo of the game, like many of the other games we've been playing. So. Uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah. this is all very standard. You can do the usual things. The most interesting things is probably. Oh that you can do uh, yeah. you can show off the oh, yeah. select uh, different character voices but besides from that it's it's very normal really so we will just jump out of this and hopefully back to okay back to the login no back to my character screen that's great so we'll log in on this 
But yeah, as Ozzy was saying, it's uh, the free-to-play model is kind of the usual stuff. You only have a couple of character slots available. You have to buy more of that. You only have um, you can buy more backspace. You can buy, buy uh, mounts. You can buy gear, which looks awesome on you. Uh, you can actually also buy gear with stats on. I noticed. Um, you can buy teleporter packages and stuff like that. And as Ozzy was also saying, you can buy uh, entrance to like raid or dungeons. Which is just, mm -hmm. which is just terrible. I'd, I'd say. I just found out that there are different types of dances in this game. <laughs> okay, that's cool because the the it's base one important. was pretty horrible. It's called d dance underscore underscore sexy. That that's that's oh my god. Uh, how is that looking on your very yeah, manly are. manly man? Can I just uh, it looks very manly. <laughs> when I took off my pants, look. look yeah, at the, and with your very so. manly uh, outfit, that's really. I, I wish I could slash a bow forward or something. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Dear God, Ozzy. <laughs> okay, so. So, uh, invite the group. I shall invite you. Sir. Yes, thank you. There we go. I am having some lag. Thank you. So, yeah, we both. Why we, why we both look like cancer patients that want to run around a marathon? I don't know, but. Uh, <laughs> apparently, that's just the look that the game wants to go for. Yeah, you're not looking, you're not looking smart yeah. in the starting area for sure. Hopefully, you'll be able to get some more epic armor later on in the game. Um, but yeah, epic. this 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 area is the starting area of the game. It's an entire it's a city and some and some other neighboring areas, which is available for the first like 20 levels of the game and this is the place where everyone will start the game uh, so you play around here and then you will uh, you'll leave the city when you're done and you'll get to one of the the major cities in the world which is dependent on your on the the race you selected okay. so another matter to deal with no, I'm here with that cursed dog Strom's permission. It's quite a big starting area, then. It is, to be honest. I bring in fresh slaves to this island hell. Um, is so? Which is not a bad thing, because, be because this game is... Uh, I mean, we, we chose a world PvP server, right? So we can just be killed anywhere. I don't we think we did that. I don't hope we did that. I'm actually not sure if we did that. Oh, <laughs> Nobody have there killed us. There were only, us. like, five servers. Uh, like, PvP, yeah. PvP, and, like, a... Well, what we chose was, like, a bloodthirst something nobody has killed us yet but uh okay let's go so we are we're okay. like level 12 right now um so we are not completely through the starting area yet which is kind of sad we had hoped to be able to Shh. my pc is reading content oh sorry i'll see minus <laughs> minus two <laughs> <laughs> it's reading content yeah all right what were you saying um yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to. Yeah, we, we aren't able to actually make it through the the starting area, sadly, um, to show off some else, some other parts of the world. But we hope to be able to give you a proper impression of what this game is actually about. Uh, well, these guys are just way too low level. Yeah. Okay, so, so let's this see. This game sets itself apart from previous MMOs. Is uh, the combat, and you will see that on Cheese's screen that you have three buttons. Which is like an upper left attack, an overhead attack, and an upper right attack. And if you can see when he starts attacking, I don't know if you can explain that. Yeah, what's well. Happening. Oh, I just got one of those special kill animations. Nice. Oh, that looked rather brutal. Cool. Yeah. Yet, or animation. Slit him open and then stabbed him to the ground. Um. So yeah, as Ozzy was saying, I have these three directions I can attack from: from the right, from the left. And, and like straight on and these mobs are not very fun to show on because they are they're dying too easily um. And it's cool that it's trying to trade out trade out right, but then they have a class as me Which is pure caster based and I just work traditionally like any other MMO Yeah, it's kind of uh, odd that they haven't tried to be doing something both. Something special for you guys as well Can we do something with this coconut? Right. I don't think so. I think Never it's mind. just a regular quest item um, yeah, you're stealing it, that's it. 
So I'll try to show off the combat a bit more and, and explain how it works when we actually get into some maps. Was that but, it? I just have to get it off my chest. The, the game looks pretty good. It uh, does. Quite gorgeous. But the, the animations are just horrible. For a game from 2008, That that's just bad. Yeah, it feels a bit clunky to be playing, to be honest. It feels like you're, you're uh, I don't know, fat, slow. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of it. Just feels a bit. It's it's not only that. It's just like uh, the animations get cut off quite often. Like yeah. when you jump forward and then you stop in midair, like you suddenly stand on the ground without finishing your animation. Okay, so here we go. Uh -oh. This is some combat. Um, so as you'll see, whenever I'm attacking something, I'll try and attack this plant. It has some uh, very light um, brackets around it, which there's currently one on top of it and one to the left and one to the right. And the way those works is that 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 kind of shows where the target is focusing it defends on. Um, as is, mm. if if I if I attack a target uh, from the right and it has more brackets on the right, it will take mo uh, more dam uh, less damage from the right. So it basically means that I'll have to keep uh, watch out for that and um, and choose where to attack. So now it has three on the left here, which means that I'll have to pick an attack which is either going straight in front or or going on the right to do optimal damage so while that is a unique way to do it i don't see how that really makes it active combat per se nah not really it's not that active uh it works it works all right i guess but it isn't i mean it's not it's not it's not a difficult system because it's kind of it's kind of obvious okay all the uh, the brackets are on the left side then i probably have to hit on the right side as, as straight on it's i guess the most interesting yeah. thing is that the abilities as you can see if i'm using this one which is called sweep then to actually do it i'll have to press to the left and then he'll make a sweep and and hit and this one is called brutal yeah. brutal enraging strike wow and that is to the right. Uh, so as far as I can tell, that means that the attack is actually focused on either the left or the right. So you will have to choose your attacks so they do optimal damage and probably try to rotate them. Because in, while you're in combat, the enemy's uh, defenses are actually getting changed around accordingly to where you hit. Or well, I think it's according to where you hit. It's actually it's yeah, not that transparent so. a system to figure out. but. But that means that I'll have to, like when I attack from the front and he switches his defenses to the front, I'll have to, uh, yeah, of course, switch to another thing. And then I'll have to use the correct abilities for that. It's it's not that difficult, to be honest, and... I don't know, I guess, it, I guess it's alright, because it means that you have to think a little bit about in which order you use your abilities, in comparison to other yeah. games where you just have a, a totally locked in a set in stone rotation. Yeah. That's true. Uh, remember to pick up those uh, gem things on these animals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, a thing in this been... game is that we have a very, very, very limited inventory. Um, I think it's I think it's like twelve slots we have available. Oh, and another of these. Except it was a bit off, sadly. But I wanna. I, I mean, I understand that you wanna tempt people to buy stuff but limiting people in such a way it just oof. yeah but this is also just ugly because you have this huge inventory and then you can only use 12 of yeah the... yeah at least at least make the bags or something that you buy or whatever exactly because it feels it feels really bad to just be out of space when you're only halfway through your your visible bag at least uh, but the game does something good when it comes to inventory it has another bag for quest items and it has another bag for gathering materials or for uh, crafting materials which you've gathered that yeah, that's actually, very nice. yeah, that is very nice indeed because it's a problem that I've run into a lot of times when playing MMOs. That okay, there's this quest item I have to pick up, but I ca I, uh, I don't have room Ooh. for it. So I have to destroy something. Um, I'd like that actually. No, 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 no. <laughs> you don't no? need constitution. Don't I? Do you need constitution? I think what does that do? I think it's better than my current, anyways. <laughs> Oh god, where is the yeah. stat thing? There we are. It's constitution. Ma stamina, stamina, health. Yeah, okay, yeah, you can use that. It's actually better for you. 
thank you. Uh, but yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, besides the combat system, the game uses the Holy Trinity system. You have healers and tanks and DPS and support, I guess. And yeah. uh, that's what we all use in group combat. You will need that. And that's pretty much like any previous MMO we've seen. But uh, what is different is PvP in this game, right? Um, yes, it is. It's... Uh... So they have... In, in this game they have a special area, uh, which is... It's like in the outskirts of the world, and the thing is that there are like... There's one, one of those zones per, per server. And in that zone you are able to go out and build keep as a guild. Uh, to go and build build a, a guild keep. But the thing is there's only room for... I think it's eight? Eight keeps? At a time, so if you want... If you want a keep and the, an area is not is taken, you'll have to capture it from the enemy. Um, so they have this kind of guild combat in here. Guild siege combat. Uh, so how it works is that one guild will declare war on another guild. And... Uh, and then there'll be like a, a set time where where those two guilds can engage each other out in that out in this world. So it's not like it's not like okay we declare war on you so now we can just attack you at any given point within the next week. It is like a fairly limited amount of time you will have to to uh, yeah. do the assault. But if you then win, then the entire keep will get uh, destroyed and you'll be able to rebuild it anew. Mm hmm. And that I that's a pretty cool concept. It, yeah, it sounds like a fun system. I haven't I haven't tried it. I have actually been playing Age of Conan back when it was released. I bought it and uh, and played it for a few months. And I think I got almost to max level, but then I just burned out on it. Um, the game was very very unfinished at release. Uh, I might add. So yeah, there were huge problems, which actually cost the game. We were really downhill, and that's thus it went free to play at some point. Yeah, so it's so. I, I don't know how 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 much it actually sold in the beginning and stuff. Uh, when it went free to play, they uh, they gained I think it was three hundred thousand subscribers in the first month or two, which is uh, which is pretty decent. Mm -hmm. uh, not as good as uh, Dungeon Dragons Online, but pretty decent. Um, but but yeah, at at launch, back at launch, they had some problems. There wasn't enough quest to level on. There there was a lot of uh, of different bugs plaguing the the realms and they had some uh, optimizations issue as well and all that stuff so i mean a lot a lot of game has been through the same thing it's just it's tough to launch a game so yeah uh let's see where should we go there especially with such a tough crowd as as the wow players because uh yeah you'll get look forward to a new game but they can also burn a game really fast if they don't like it. At the, at the time where they came out, I've I mean... Seen it happens with a lot of games. As we have seen, there's been a couple of good games out, actually, at that time uh, already. Like Dungeons & Dragons Online, mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings Online, World of Warcraft, obviously. Um, so it's, it's of course, very tough to release a game in the middle of that, in that, in that time period, and then trying to actually compete with those games. Yeah. And especially if you make so many mistakes and bugs them. A lot of people are just going to say, you know what? Even though a lot of those games started out with those bugs, probably. But they yeah. had time to evolve over time. Exactly. This game didn't. So it's, if you're releasing an anime MMO these days, you need to You'll make almost... sure it's, it's very, it works well. Yeah, exactly. You'll always have to right. compete with what is best on the market, more or less. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you look at Vanilla WoW or original WoW at the beginning, that was just quite bad as well with bugs and stuff like that yeah they had a ton of bugs so <laughs> missing talent trees and whatnot yeah. uh, but anyways back to this so this is how m most of the quest is actually functioning it is it is kill quest or it is gathering quests and yeah. uh, is is there more than that actually have we been doing anything of course there's go and talk no, to no, people no. or go and deliver stuff to people as well but that is about it. And many of the quests are like these. I mean, we have to get 30 crocodile, uh, crocodile skins and a ton of these, whatever it is, uh, of these red gemstones or whatever. 
and it just takes so long. We were in a cave earlier today, a pretty big uh, cave, mind you, um, and we had to gather like poison or venom from um, from uh, spiders and snakes. Yeah, exactly. And while they were in the cave, certainly, but actually, I don't think there was enough in the cave. Oh, oh. Cave when we got in there, we had to wait for respawns. Though they sp they spawn very quickly in this game, the spawn rate is insane. Um, so, but but we had to gather twenty, just run around in these narrow corridors and kill a bunch of stuff. And then when we when we were done, we had to fight our way out of there because, well, they they spawn so fast. The maps. Oh, I died. Oh, you. Oh, damn it! Sorry, Ozzy. I was I wasn't paying attention really. No, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ask me to fight and talk at the same time. No, that would be... Uh, Do you think I'm some kind of multitasker? Where are you? Oh, you're all the way over there. Okay, I'm coming. Um, but yeah, it, 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 the quest... <sighs> I'm really tired of these questing systems. But uh, a lot of games in recent years have been working on that. Like Star Wars, and currently Guild Wars 2 as well. They're all starting to drive away from that the grind concept, and even World of Warcraft with their revamped uh, areas have yeah. been trying to work towards a more fun experience, and and that's a good thing, I think. But I don't think this game has that much support anymore these days. I don't know. Uh, well, that no, there was a there was a large pack uh, patch or in March, I think, where they added a new uh, rating tile. Uh. So okay. apparently it is. Uh, it is still supported, which is a good thing though, because I'd much rather play a supported MMO than an unsupported one. Mm. It's very nice to know that they are bringing out new content from time to time. I stay where you are, damn it. Um, actually, one of the other things I noticed is that right now th we are not. This this game is not too brutal on us. Mostly we are two people, and uh, OC can uh, can heal and stuff, so that makes it a ton easier. But uh, we, were, we were at a point where we actually was running out of quests to play that were uh, to do that were uh, that were fitting our level range. So the yeah. way quest we have the quest log right here, as you'll see. Uh, max cap of twenty quests, and I'm currently on. Uh, oh, max cap of thirty, and I'm currently on twenty. So and they're of course uh, color coded according to their difficulty compared to my level. That's all fine. You can only track. Three quests at the same given time. Oh yeah, that's an annoying thing. Um, but okay, so first thing, the quest log is not very easy to to actually keep track of because you have all these. So you have the torches daytime, and then you can switch to the nighttime if you will. And there's some other quests, only one right now. And we have all these white sand area, and then I don't know, it doesn't work very well. But we were running out of we we didn't have any yellow quest actually. We only had like the orange quest left. And to do those quests, I don't know. It it was it was we were two people and it was difficult for us, so I can only imagine what a nightmare will be to be one guy trying to do them, especially yeah, given right, that yeah. given that the respawns rate are as high as they are. So that means that if you're if you're taking your time to kill one mob, which we were and we were two guys, then you'd have to actually take a break before you go on to the next, and in that time yeah. you could almost risk new mobs would have spawned on you. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, that's why I wondered if there's no support. I mean, you'd figure that 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 they fixed stuff like that. But I guess, I guess the community is fine with it. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, they they are supposed to be game for everyone, right? So they there's there's definitely a crowd mm -hmm. crowd for this game. There's still uh, people playing it for sure. So uh, I'm guessing that yeah, it just proves that there has to be games for everyone and. Even a game like this, people are going to play it. But I, I also think that the, the, the PvP. General, is... a... no, yeah, go on. I'm just thinking that, especially the PvP, it... sounds sounds pretty fun, right? So. Yeah, yeah, indeed. I guess that's that's worth checking out. But do you want to go through all this trouble to get to that? Because as I see it right now, a lot of people that are general MMO players that play games like WoW, Rift, Star Wars, they will play this for five minutes and they'll just say, "Fuck this shit." 
and that that's very bluntly put, and that's that's very biased. I, I know that is, but it's the way it is. A lot of people will say that because they will not give this game an honest chance. Yeah, probably true. Because the first impression is just not very good about this game. No, it isn't, and especially like you are <coughs> you are you are uh, captured in this zone, which is. I mean, one of the reasons they made the zone is, as far as I know, that they wanted the first 20 levels to be really epic. And one of the things they did was that they voiced all the quests. And I know today, where we have uh, Star Wars out there, where everything's voiced, uh, it's not that big a f big of a deal. But back then, in 2008, that was actually it really was something. Back then, that, yeah. ex exactly, that was actually a, a huge thing. And despite some of the performance perhaps being. Uh, being quite poorly, I actually think they managed to do a good job with that. And you have uh, you have various things you can say to every NPC when you're when you're talking with them. That, that was fine, actually. Uh, yeah. But the problem Don't was to then. Do your so feet points, by the way. Oh no, I'll do them, do them in a sec. But then the the problem was that firstly, when you left this area, only very few quests would actually be uh, be narrated or not narrated, would actually have a uh, voiced NPCs. Some of the you have like a main storyline that's going through the game here, uh, and and that is so so every every some level you a new part of the storyline will unlock and you can you can do that. Uh, so every so often, no so so that that quest line is as far as I know uh, voiced and at the time I stopped playing they were talking about adding new voices uh, on new uh, voiced quest lines to the game. Um, yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, it is, and I have no idea how many there so, is because we're still in the starting area. It's hard to judge, but so so you have actually played this game right when it came out. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I haven't. So I was. I mean, one of the things that I kind of liked about it was that um, the questing didn't feel very linear. So you, no. of course you have you have areas with level ranges, and actually I can just I'll actually just show off the world map here. I think uh, so. We'll jump up to the world map, and here you can see so we have different provinces, um, and we have um, under those we have some uh, minor uh, smaller provinces, and we have cities and districts here. Uh, noble district for the this is the Tarantia is, is like the main city where where Conan is setting. Uh, if we go up here, we have the main city for the Kai Camaria, Camarian, I think, where you have different uh, areas as well. And you can see how the you can see the level level ranges here. You have Colonel's Valley. That's probably where we would have to start if we were playing a uh, uh, Camarian. Um, so you you can see the level range in these areas, and that's all uh, that's all fine, really. And when you get out there, sometimes in some of the areas, they f they feel like the questing experience was kind of kind of linear. So you'd always have a quest to do, and when you're done, the quest a new quest would uh, would appear and all that. But in other areas where I I went out, it was just like you had this huge area, and it was hardly populated by uh, friendly folks, at least. So that means you just have to go around and explore it and see. Okay, is there actually Whereas the quests and some some of the starting quests would take you halfway across the zone, but it 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 was very you know it was pretty cool to explore it. I think I'll put it that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of mentioned. So it did that Especially thing. Especially the, gra well. the graphics back then were were amazing, right? Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. A huge it looked, it looked amazing. It was just the graphics. And uh, it's it's hard to see right here, but like the cur uh, Colonel Curls the Valley thing I I was looking at earlier. You could you could you start up in the end of this valley. You can just look out through it, down through it. Uh -oh. It looked amazing. It really did. Watch out! Yeah, I'm, go I'm going to kill it. I know, I know. That's fine. We can take it. It's just old, so yeah, you, old crack. You, you, you get uh, XP by killing mobs and by completing quests, pretty much, right? Yeah, you do. Uh. uh. I actually don't remember if you do it for is crap. There, is, there, is there any other way? For, what about PvP and stuff like that? I, I know there's other you ways to do it, but I don't actually remember them on the top of my head, sadly. So. Alright. Um, but, but it's the, not, the, it's the not like... I mean, there, there's da daily quests and stuff like, stuff like that as well. Uh, there was a point where yeah. I, I was running out of stuff to do. I'm done so with I the skins, by the way. Okay, so I had to do uh, daily quests in... In like a... 
the Terentia, the main city. Yeah. God damn it, I need to figure out where we... But, uh... But yeah, the, the questing is pretty linear, so you just gain XP like you would in normal games, and then... Uh, once you level up, you actually gain abilities, and you can just gain abilities straight to your character. You don't have to go to a train or anything. <laughs> yeah, Which that actually took you a while to figure out, yeah? Yeah, I guess uh, I remember the starting area. You get you get this huge book, like the question mark on the top left, you see it. You get this field manual and it will explain everything, but that is just such a horrible way to explain players' things because nobody reads things anymore. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, the spells were not placed automatically on my action bar, at least not the first few. And uh, I had very big problems with the first boss that you need to get the key out. And, yeah. So I found out I had spells, and then it was really easy. So. Uh, let's go this direction. But, Actually, but, it seems but, like there's a bunch of things to do out here on the beach. But but you gain them while you level, and I think that's pretty good. That's very yeah. nice. It it's it's fine, really. I I'm I'm starting to be an okay fan of that system. Forcing people to go back to learn new spells, then only to continue out when they with their questing and leveling. It it doesn't feel so good, actually. Despite that having been the system we've been using for ages. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, as you said, you'll also like uh, get. They have talents in the game that you unlock as you level. And the first talent point you got at level 10, which means that I should actually have at least three talent points available right now. Um, yes. So, yeah, it seems like I have. It's really odd that the, the, the UI is really awkward with that, actually. Yeah, like it, it has two separate parts. It has two separate paths, but then also the general one that's on the yeah, right. Yeah, but the so general, the general right is there. shared among all three or all uh, all classes. Every every class has yeah, the okay. general one, and then you have these two. I have Juggernaut and Tempest as being my specialities. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Oh, I just accidentally put a uh, put one point in uh, in toughness. Help! Help! Oh, sorry, Ozzy. I'll. I'll get to her immediately. I was just <coughs> apparently I can't fight with that window is open. Sorry. Stop! Damn you! Really no, Ozzy, don't run down there for fuck's sake. <laughs> you, you cannot cast when people interrupt. When people hit you, you can get interrupted and you can have to recast everything. Yeah, that's not a very clever system. Okay, no. okay, I think I got him now. Actually, aggro, I hate aggro in this game because sometimes if you just have a hot taking on me and I aggro an, an enemy, he will run straight to you and there's more or less nothing I can do to uh, to stop him. Nah. I hit you with my stick. It's a very, right, it's a very nice just, stick uh, you have. I'll just not attack anything so you can explain the, tap, uh, the feet uh, feature. Okay, now I got a few quests completed. Good. All right, so there we go. Right. So the Tempest is my DPS spec, and the Juggernaut is my um, is my tanking spec. And to be honest, it's kind of it's kind of like, in, in, well, in many other games, you got a there's a requirement for it. There's the power increase you're getting, and apparently there's an upgrade combo effect, uh, which I have no idea what is. It's not something that is in every one of them, at least. And you'll also unlock abilities as you go down. Um, very, very normal way to do it, to be honest. The only thing is that it's kind of like the Juggernaut tree here. That's kind of two trees in one. And actually, the, the no way they're not even interconnected. The last ones are, are connected. So you'll have to start from the Hateful Vengeance in this case. And then go down to be able to get the Combo Storm Strike. Then we have the general, which is more like okay, this is my increase my health regen. This uh, increases the hate generated by the soldiers attack. That that's well, hate I guess that's threat. Um, protection and all that stuff. Volcanic rage. The soldier unleashes the fury, increasing the damage inflicted by the attacks for a short time. Okay, I actually think I was wrong when I said that this was something for all classes. This general tree is just for the. Is is just for the for the soldier class. So all soldiers will have the general that yeah, general yeah. tree, exactly. and then only I will have this uh, juggernaut and and tempest. Uh, 
as far as I can tell, yeah. Okay. So let's move uh, down here. I know, we need to go down here. Why are we going down here? There's, there's stuff on the ground we have to collect. A bottle of Mushrooms. rum. Why do we need the rum? Don't you don't you have that quest? I don't think so. Ah. Let's see if I can What's remedy that. It's called uh, the Lost e Bottle. Eagle feathers. I no, I don't have that. Uh, I will fix that. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, there's a quest sharing system in the game, but the quest log is not very good to t about telling you. I mean, it will tell you if I can if I can share the quest. I can't share the quest, but it will not like tell me if if. I can't, it's not very obvious whether or not Osiris is actually on the quest I'm trying to share with him and stuff like that. It's it's kind of yeah, bad. It's kind of weird. So, I just realized, saw that you can only track three, three quests at the same time, but it's, they will all still show on the map where they are. So that's pretty decent. Yeah, actually, I was I was wondering why that had so many things on the on the, on the the map if I could only track three quests at a time. But the, the things that you track are are purple, I think, and the other things are orange. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh wow, lots of bo uh, bottles. That would make sense. We also have to collect bottles of wine. Hmm. Uh, but they are they are here as well. It's just as I guess. Okay, this is awkward. A bit. Bottle of wine. Oh, I got another code now. Uh, I never understood in MMOs why, when you pick up an item, you have to cast for three seconds. No, I mean, not really. Just pick something up. No. It doesn't take me three seconds to pick up a bottle of. Uh, <laughs> and may mayhaps if I'm if I'm drunk, then it's 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 possible. <laughs> Did you say that mayhaps? <laughs> <laughs> may maybe that if I'm drunk, it, it will take longer. Uh, but that's that's a really cool word. I'm gonna keep that one in our vocabulary. Mayhaps. Gee, thanks, Elsie. Uh, I'm serious. Mayhaps you hadn't heard that before. No. And I'm just using it out of context all the time. <laughs> I don't think it was the correct place to use it at all. <laughs> Sorry for any, uh, well, native English people out there. Yeah, he's Chinese. He can't help it. Yeah, uh, I'm. I just farm all day, sorry. Uh, yay, collect bottle of wine, bottle of rum. So about the... There is, there is crafting in this, in this game, but as far as I've been able to tell, we are not... We can't uh, craft anything right now. We have to like get out of the starting area and then we'll be able to... To... Uh, well craft and gather materials but they also have kind of a special system in this game where you have a special area a couple of special areas that are kind of like designated farming areas um, mm, okay. so that means that there's no there's no or hardly any quest in there I think there might be a few uh, like gathering related quests but there isn't really it's it's not mm -hmm. like a questing or leveling area it Are you done with the rum either way and stuff? There's, oh, this is the boat. Oh, this is just the boat back. Yeah. Um, then follow me. Just keep okay. talking and follow. So, so you go into this area and then you have a lot of nodes that will spawn and you can you can gather, you can gather everything no matter which profession you are. So that is, uh, you can uh, like pluck a, gather cotton or uh, cut down trees or mine stuff and all that. Uh, it's 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 all fine. Um, but that also means that there actually isn't that many nodes outside in the world for everyone to share. And the way the nodes work... Oh, there's a mushroom over here, is it? Uh, so yeah, the, the way those uh, nodes work is that they they go up to 100%, so they are percent base based. And I think that for every, every 10% that is available on the node, will give you one of whatever material. Uh, that node uh, represents, and then it will s it will slowly regenerate. So that means that in in areas where 
a lot of players are hanging out like in normal Ooh. questing areas the few nodes that are actually there are, are almost always like mined or they're almost always between zero and ten yeah so that means that whenever you find someone perhaps you're lucky and there is something on them but you'll mostly only be able to gather like a, a single a single item from it seems like a very weird system yeah but yeah. actually, the the worst was that when uh, when you entered like the the gathering regions, right? <coughs> if mm -hmm. if there if there were no people in the region, the region would kind of not exist. So that means that when you uh, when you got into it, it would be opened up, and all all nodes would start at zero percent, and then get up from there. Okay. So that, that meant that the optimal way to farm would be to enter the zone and see, okay, no pe no people are here. So that means that all nodes will be at zero. Then just go AFK for 10 minutes and then come back. More or less. Yeah. Alright. I'm entering well, the there. mausoleum. Ooh. Did you go in there? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Okay, but then, of course, all the materials you uh, you gathered could be used to, like, uh, to craft or to build those cities I talked about and... And I actually think, I think, and this is not something I've been, I have I read anywhere since, but I actually think there is just normal guild cities as well that are not, not like keeps you fighting for it, but are just a regular, like, well, this is a city and there's a wall and there is a, a bunch of, uh, and you can like build buildings in there. I think that's something every guild can do and we try to do that a bit. It, it requires a lot of gathering, but, but it's not impossible to do in any way. We were like three people in the guild and we managed to build a few. A few buildings, so it was kind of neat. Yeah, this uh, place looks pretty damn cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna hit the level designers at all because the, uh, the game looks good and and er every area looks very good and the areas are very distinct as well. I mean, we are we are in kind of like a Caribbean pirate themed place right now, yeah. and so. We have some which are called, I think they're called the Stygians. They are a, d a desert people, so you'll start out in some car, some place that looks a bit like Egypt. Whereas if you are the... And there's also snowy places and Yeah, stuff. exactly. If you're like the Chimera people I talked about earlier, you'll be starting up in the mountains and uh, huge mountain snow regions and stuff. Looks very uh, Norwegian, perhaps. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's actually, that's very cool. Um... There is loading screens. Trophy of e what? Trophy of evil, I said. Sorry. I don't know what. I mean, there's a, f a couple of mobs more in here. Okay, you can just try and check this out. The way combat works here is I have one selected, but whenever I attack one, I'll hit whatever else is within my range. So I actually took them both down at the same time, more or less. Collect jar of spiced wine from the mausoleum. Like, like where? I need one more trophy of evil from here. Oh, and the maps are not helpful at all. Quite the opposite, actually. Uh, can you see some spiced wine somewhere? No. I have a feeling there's a hidden area here somewhere. What is this? Can you click it? Can you hit it? Break it down? No. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I got the sense as well that something is hidden from us. Oh, here. Ooh. Interesting. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty cool, actually. I totally didn't remember that they have stuff like this in the game. Nice. Okay, and there is... Oh! Ouch! God, I love. Yay, last, uh, I'm just a sucker for kill cam like that. It just looks awesome. 
I don't. Do you have yeah, special that's... kill animation as a caster? No. No. Oh. So. Okay, so I got that, and I got. Did you get all the idols? Yeah, I think so. All right. I think I have one more question. That's getting feathers from someplace somewhere, and then I'm done. What is that? I have more quests out here than that. Hang on a second. Oh, we're done with everything else. Oh, that was the wrong one. I was uh, collect pan. I need to collect panther meat. I need to get some uh, eagle feathers. Oh, you're not done with that yet. Yeah, I need feathers as well. Oh, I'm done with the panther. Oh, meat. oh, oh! That I just ignored the meat. I thought it was just like a random drop. I didn't realize it was for a quest. Stupid me! God damn it! <laughs> fucking retard. <laughs> that's, that's because I'm so careful with, <laughs> with what I put in my inventory because there's, we have so little room in it. You have a bitch work. I, I, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a farmer. Seriously, so give me a chance, right? <laughs> I'm not that fast. Yeah. <laughs> what was this? Locked, Locked chest. chest. Alright. Picking up I'm item. Sham pick <laughs> up an item. Okay. Did you actually unlock that somehow? Yeah, I did. Hey, Ozzy, do you want a head that has a mana on it? Oh, yes. We need uh, feathers from here. Okay, hang on. Ozzy, stop for a second. Can I trade you? Yeah, you can trade me. Trade, yes. Oh, God, that's gonna look retarded, isn't it? Cannot use its medium army, dickhead. Then give armor. it back to me because then it's better than what I got. Nope. No. Oh. Nope. Yeah, right. Here. <laughs> Hold on and then. Otherwise, I will Rage. hit you with my pitchfork and my torches. I gotta have torches as well. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, where do we go? Up here. But I mean, but I mean. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Down here, around. So, uh, Elder Scrolls Online, go. <laughs> I will not make any judgments on that just yet. I don't like the idea, like, right out of the box. And but the trailer that they released is just... Why didn't they release but that, that's just No, released. that's just a teaser. It's quite normal. We will, we will surely get more trailers uh, yeah. quite soon. I mean, now now the game is kind of like... I would, I would have said out of the box, but that sounds wrong. We we know it's coming. I, I now, wanna so. be. I wanna be the, the Elder Scrolls fanboy and say like, oh no, single player, ma 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 ma. But I'm I'm kind of interested to see what they're gonna do with it. See well, what, there are there are developers of Dark Age of Camelot on the team, which. But. Uh, Should be interesting. Yeah, exactly. So that that's fine. Um, and I'd very much like to see what what they end up with because I love the Elder Scrolls series. There's nothing there, but I'm concerned about how the port. To MMO style gameplay will work. Yeah, uh, they're they're saying that they want to focus on like dynamic events as well and stuff like that, and they want to make it the best MMO as possible. And that obviously they want to because otherwise you wouldn't be making an MMO. But <laughs> uh, we'll have to, we'll have to see how it's gonna work out. Uh, Osu, uh, what is there anything to do around here? Otherwise, I can see that there's a quest down to the south. We need to go up here. Seriously, how are you? Up to the north. We need I think, can you get out of this area somehow? No? Yeah. Why but is this topic, so bloody restricted? This game is made by Fancom, and they're also working on another game that's going to come out uh, next month, I think, in June, June. Uh, it's called The Secret World. So I don't think uh, we can get through here. It seems to be locked. Yeah. But that, that game is going to be interesting. Hmm, I have not paid any much attention to that at all, actually. I can see that they're made by Funcom because the, the, the animations in the game are kind of bad. But <laughs> the whole concept of the game is kind of cool. Like, it's a modern day setting with, like, myths and, and legends and conspiracy things like the Illuminati and all that stuff. So it seems, seems very interesting. Oh, fun well, to see someone take a different here. route for once. But that I just be. figured I'd mention that because it's made by the same people, so... Yeah, that should be interesting. Oh, a new, uh... Yeah. What is this? Feeder. Level 15. I'm taking them down. Can I high level this? Oh! 
So we need a stupid feather, but we can't get up here. So, uh, oh god. Oh, a bus of these. Uh oh. Uh oh. Help. Yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. If you promise to do whatever you can to. Oh, they went down fast. <laughs> because I did my AoE attack, which is kind of a lot of damage. <laughs> kind of a lot of damage. <laughs> Good, I'm just blowing everything I got on this. Oh, I can't Ooh. even use it. A razor. Okay, so go out there and let's see. Well, we got where we wanted to be, I think. Yeah, okay. So now we just need something with feathers on it. Are you sure it's up there? What? what? Yeah, I'm sure. What was the quest called again? Feathers of Quills. I can see it on my map, man. It's a circle right there. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Oh now. my god, I hate invisible walls. Are you. I, I think I'm why? almost up there now. Almost. Seriously, game, how are we supposed to get up there? I can see a path leading up there even. Oh god. You get there? No, I fell down again. Are you... Do How do we, do we just have to continue following this path around the... I, I don't know. I'm just... This is stupid, seriously. Whenever they oh, show... Why do we have invisible walls? That's just... I think you have to get up for the that other side somehow, but I have no idea how it seems like a path were leading up there, but I don't know from where, so. Let's just go a circle here and see where this is going. Well, that place looks pretty crazy. Oh, these. Oh, that's pretty good. Wow, that looks awesome. Oh, god damn it. We're not going to get up there, I think. Not like this, anyways. And now, are there any way back to the other side of the island where we actually came from? Or are we just ending up down here by this fortress that we don't want to get into, I think? I don't know. I'm actually pretty positive Let's we don't want to get down there yet. Again. We have to do what? I guess we have to walk all the way around again. Uh, shouldn't we just pop back and deliver the quest we have, to be honest? Yeah, yeah. I think we've uh, covered the things that we want to cover. Yeah, exactly. A bit of things. So this is the path of Ashura, which is basically your hearthstone to whatever in you've, uh, you've found it to. Um. So actually, um, I don't think we mentioned this when, this when we talked about the PvP in the game, but they have some PvP servers. Which is like, not just mm -hmm. like a normal PvP servers, but it's like hardcore PvP servers where, as far as I know, everybody can kill everyone and there are s cities where they have removed or limited the amount of guards available and stuff like that and just generally made the world a lot more unsafe place to be in. Uh, yeah. So it sounds kind of like, you know, Ultima Online, the first game we actually looked at where they also had the same, that some of the servers had this. Well, the game started out actually as being just uh, everyone was everyone when you were out in the world and, and later on they added some safe havens, but they still had these worlds where everyone could just could just fight yeah. everybody else. Oh, you gotta see my new pants, man. Yeah, as long as you keep them on, that, that would be a great start. Oh, this I'm game I'm sure works. if there's much to keep on. It, oh, it, you have also new pants. Yeah, I got the You're like wearing there. a skirt, man. <laughs> I, I consider myself of a uh, Scottish heretic. Uh, mm -hmm. right now. Scottish. A man. Oh, uh, unicult. Mighty fine no. okay. work. My so friend. as you guys can see now, this is this is how the the um, interaction with NPCs work, and and everything is is uh, voiced. So. Yes, these are perfect. You have done me a fine favor. Here's your reward. 
And everything seems to be pretty decent for me. I'll take these. What do you want to talk Oh about man, that guy sounds horrible. Kind of spooky yes? as well. I'm a fisherman and have no way to fish. I can't earn my trade, can I? What in the hells do you think is wrong? It's not the blockade that preys mm. upon my mind. That has to break soon. The city will die if it doesn't. All right. No, my worries are saved for the picked. So yeah, you can, you can... Are you... I was just sorry, I was just showing off the quest here, okay. just the quest interaction and stuff. Uh, yeah. So, but this is how it works, and you have you have some some day. chances to uh, take different paths. But just as far as I'm aware, in the, the end, you'll either end up getting the quest or or just there. not getting the quest, the and then you can just try again. And white sands if you stick That's to number one, I you'll you'll, you'll always get the quest. Is my uh, <laughs> is my general experience if you want to get through it fast. I mean, it's an it's a nice little f thing, of course, but I. Uh, I don't know. I'm not that big of a fan of it, to be honest. Hear this proclamation. Uh, oh God, that's that town cry is so annoying. I'm just gonna run out here, hide from him. Now the question is, can we duel in this game? Oh, I had completely forgotten about that. I wonder if. Doesn't. I don't think so. Seriously? We need to. We need to start figuring that that stuff out in advance. Uh, yeah. so no, no. Google it. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Hmm, did I have any quests out here? No, not really. So actually, one of the things they also have in this game is they have a lot of emotes. Mm -hmm. Here we got s small, quite a small list they have here, with. Everything just like small, small fish, small fish. <laughs> it's lightheaded. <laughs> it's kind of cool that so uh, probably a ton of uh, emotes they're using for for quests and stuff, and they, everything is just available. Uh, I do believe we we cannot do it in a hub, but we should be able to. So out here, or do we have to like leave the city area entirely and go out to another? I don't know. Because we have a we have another area nearby. It says here in PvP and PvP RP server wherever you want except for hubs. In PvE server only mini games borderlands during siege if you manage to arrange it somehow in arena. Let's uh, let's so. try and uh, move over to this this other area that are right nearby. And see if that helps. Because true enough, I am. Um, I, sh I no, I think. Who won last time? I did. Oh. After a long streak of you winning. <laughs> but that obviously uh, that means that okay. it's my turn to win again, right? Okay, jumping in lava one shots you. Yeah, I think that's how it works in real life too. You know. Yeah, but this is not real life. Okay, yeah. Oh, true. True enough. True enough. Uh, all right. Where'd you go? I wonder what it means if we... The challenges you yeah. face will be deadly and terrifying, but I have a rich reward if you go into the epic version. I don't think I need those rich rewards, given that I'm probably not going to play this game again. I wonder if uh, you need to put on PvP mode somehow. I haven't. I haven't seen that kind of stuff anywhere. But we probably cannot do it on this island, at least. There's something <laughs> silly like that. Where did you go? I, I went out to the other area, you know, the the place we were earlier today right. to do some quests. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming. Actually, this this place is a great uh, this is a great place to just show off the landscapes. So this huge keep here, you I don't think you'll be able to make it to the top of it, but I'm actually not sure. You may you may you may be that. Uh you may be. Um this is the area where the the end game if you will of the starting area is going to play out in some epic fashion. For sure. Okay, Ozzy, how are we going to do this? 
Can we like PvP? No. Uh. What is uh, this shield of the risen thing? I don't know. It's something that I I'm regularly being told, and I don't have it anymore. But I don't know what it is. Um. Well, this is kind of sad if you can't even uh, do a little duel. Are you here to hunt? Me? Um. Watching the demise of. Are you blind, do Okay, leave the room. I wish I could fight with you. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? You are oh. now hostile because I left the group. Uh, where did my action. Wait, 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 wait. Jesus ah. Christ. Will you hold on? Okay. You have started the fight recently. Yeah, I have. I admit it's. I'm reading my action buttons are gone. Uh, gone or just rotated because I think if you if you right click it, oh, might, it may yeah, rotate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now shift scroll. Okay. Are you ready? Uh yeah. No you're gonna die, OZ. Come on, don't you Oh, that's just not That's not cool, man. I wonder why this... I had an ability that would knock people over, but it doesn't really seem to be knocking anyone over anymore. No, 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 no. Don't you think you're going to get away from me? Oh! Uh, your you pitchfork was died? no match for me. And I got some... You dropped something. <laughs> you dropped some small mangled fangs. Probably from inventory. <laughs> cool. I, I guess that's uh, payback from Ultima Online, where I stole your all your gear and your cape. That's actually true, yeah. I have been looking forward to this day where I could take something from you. Not a lot of game off of that right now. So... You're still on the winning side, though. I, I don't know. We need to look back on the videos and see what actually the score is right now. But but yeah, I think you're right. I'm. I, oh, you didn't. I think I'm, I'm in front with uh, two after this. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. That, actu that hit actually was rather annoying. But, but seriously, you aren't you? Can't you cast while being hit? No. Yeah, but the the chance is very high that I get interrupted and have to start all over again. <laughs> That's brutal. It doesn't bode that well for PvP, does it? No. Oh, uh, did you well. drop something else. <laughs> Some more. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna gonna put myself more to shame than I already did. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's how I do stuff. Perhaps I should I should try and play the healer next time, so you can actually have a fair chance. Yeah. You, seriously? <laughs> do you think Do you think that I, I go AFK after having defeated you? Uh, yeah. Oh God. Something like that. This actually hurts. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. See? See? I can't do anything anymore when you're close by. Come on. Fuck. You actually hurt quite a bit. No! I don't want to die! No! What? I just... off. Oh, yes. Damn it. Finally. <laughs> That was needed. Fine, so you got you got right. one. But, okay. Uh, <laughs> had to happen. Yeah, it's it's all fine. What is I'm gonna knock you off this I oh, resist it, never mind. Anyway. Thanks for watching everyone. This was Age of Conan. Our next game will be uh Warhammer online, I believe. Yeah it will. It will. So well, we Why are we are aggressive with everyone. It seems. I could I oh, could actually just... attack that guy running behind us, uh, running past us right there. Yeah, those oh, were mobs, though. Yeah, but not the guy that jumped through the the door. Ah, okay. All right, that's cool. Anyway, uh, next step will be Warhammer Online. Warhammer Online. Uh, you can expect some more Guild Wars Two videos. <laughs> the way you're. Tickly, we're, tickly, we're, yeah. <laughs>
Terrier <laughs> Weekly is being uploaded <laughs> as we speak. Right, it was really slow, so it took like 12 hours, but it will be up soon. Uh, some more Guild Wars 2 vi- footage, and I think from Mr. Cheese as well. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, look forward to that. Yeah. And uh, so... please leave comments below. Uh, give us input what you thought uh, of this game. If you've played this game, give us some epic moments that you've had in the game or in general what you think and correct us if we are wrong in any well, ways because it's a lot of material to read up on for each week so we, we may miss something out yeah. or something may have been changed in patches that we're not aware about that's what happens so please please by all means correct us if we're wrong um indeed but yeah this has been Age of conan not the most impressive game of all times so i'll say not a game i'll continue playing to be honest uh no no, no. might be if you're a bit more hardcore it'll be interesting uh, if you want to explore a huge and epic world it'll probably be something for you as well but I'd say there's, there's better games out there yeah definitely definitely so thank you for watching and see you later <laughs>